Good morning. How are you doing? Frankie, we've been outside and we got one of piece of candy off the floor. What are you doing? <laughs> he always just looks so exhausted with me when uh, <clears throat> I come in to do my makeup. You might have noticed I took one of the mattresses off of here, the box spring, and just let put the mattress down in. I found out that when I <clears throat> have had this sore knee on one leg and sore ankle on the other leg, it was real, it was so hard to get up in my princess queen bed, whatever you want to call it. I slept like a princess. Slept like a queen, raised up high. When I was younger, I said princess. When I got older, queen. But I didn't know if you meant queen size. So, I don't know. Anyway, just trying to... <gasps> Frankie! It was a beautiful morning out. Oh, my God. The temperature's been perfect until just a few minutes ago. It's starting to... <gasps> Look at that sweetheart. Look at you. Look at that boy. What? What? So I was um going to share this with you. I have been disappointed in the medical system for a long time. One of the things that we were, that was a topic um, in <clears throat> one of the ethics classes I took for my first master's degree in counseling is that um, if your client doesn't pay their bills, are you going to sue them uh, or take turn them into a collections agency? Well, after a long debate on what's fair and good and setting healthy boundaries, et cetera. You know, there's a role modeling, sound, respectable behaviors versus affecting someone's mental health when obviously they would pay their bills if they were thinking right, if they were in the right place. And maybe someday down the road, they'll get the right therapist who can, or you can work with them long enough to get them to rethink how they feel about paying their bills or until they're financially stable enough to be able to afford what they think they can afford. Anyway, I know, I know, I know. So anyway, come on, let's go, jump. I am not going outside right now, sorry. We've spent so much time together the last, what, two, three weeks? With my ankle and my knee being down, I've been horizontal a lot. I've been sitting and laying down a lot. And um, he and I, he's just turned into such a comfort animal. i so impressed and flattered. I, I had no idea. And then he'll turn around and be a dog. Chasing down a cute little bunny. Oh my God. I was, or its mother. It would do that too. Anyway, back to me. So I had a couple different friends. Um, I had to cancel lunch with, with one of my counselor friends. Um, because I just... Well, she canceled. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad you canceled because she had a health issue. <laughs> anyway, um, I just have to put on a little bit of makeup. Not much. Matter of fact, how much moisturizer do I have on? Um, uh oh. I've been relying on this bottle to refill over and over again for a very long time, so I hope it lasts forever. 
um, so when I got this injury, I was encouraged by her and I think a friend or two online and um, a neighbor to say, well, you know, you could just go get it checked out. Well, I pay for my insurance. I don't get completely free services like some of the retired people that I do know or um, some of the veterans that I'm friends with. They get, they don't pay for anything if they go to certain providers. And so I have learned through experience that if a doctor says, oh yeah, well first there's a doctor's appointment. And then there's, well, while you're here, let's go ahead and run this or that test. So there's some blood work. And then you get charged a little more because you're doing more than one thing during a session. Um, and if you don't pay for it, your insurance does. Uh, and then there's, well, let's just get you an MRI to make sure, or x-ray. X-ray, well, let's do both, just cover all our bases. So then you've got all of these different places that if something happens to you and that bill doesn't get paid, you have five different collection agencies calling your house. Your, oh, your relatives. There is no way to get out of it. I got a new powder brush. Oh, here it is. Oh, Samantha. I put it over in that drawer so it could air out. It just smelled like uh, packaging really strongly. It smells better. We'll see. I don't like that smell. I'm very sensitive to smells and sounds. Okay. So anyway, I did not go get it <laughs> x-rayed or MRI'd or anything like that. And um, I have been massaging it gently. Spent a bunch of money on um, new ice packs because since the last injury that was in this house, the ice packs have kind of uh, evaporated to where they're flat, not much in there. That gel has kind of, I guess, given up. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I hadn't seen that before. Tickles my nose when I use makeup. So, um, back in my Timu days. Oh, I got to tell you too at some point. <laughs> so I ordered some, I was watching some videos just cause I've been horizontal so much. Um, about Timu reviews just to hear nothing topics just to stay calm and relaxed um, I was looking at some Amazon reviews turns out a lot of the things that were on Amazon reviews were on the Timu reviews so it was like hmm for less money it was like oh my god then I found out this little trick, and I think I shared it with you, about how to check the lowest price on Timu, and that you can even get price adjustments, which I don't really know how to do, but you might want to Google it. So anyway, um, I'm looking around, entertaining myself, and start shopping on Timu and found some pajamas. So as I'm looking at the pajamas, I'm thinking, well, if I go to the doctor, because I kind of sat on the fence a couple times. I, I knew intuitively there was nothing wrong. Um, I really could tell by feeling it with my hands 
both of them, my knee and my ankle, comparing them to the opposite side, I could tell by how each day certain things were happening. Also, I was using, for the first time in my life, I used castor oil for massage. And I wanna show you some, I've got a skirt on. It's one of those outdoor skirts with the shorts. So, um, My knee, if it bruised, you couldn't see it. And I'm gonna tell you what, I can't get Botox without little bruises. And this was on my bony knee. Um, I can't bump into the wall accidentally walking through it when I'm tired or grumpy. I get bruises. Um, loading the dryer, I might hit my arm or something. And my ankle, look, <laughs> it bare, it had a whisper of a bruise. I've never experienced anything in my like it, in my life like it. It hurt so bad when I got it done, when, when I fell. I, I ended up laying on my back. I was able to turn over on my back. And my knee, my left knee hurt so bad, I was sure there were bones sticking through my skin. If my neighbor's fireman came over to help, him and his fireman buddy, which I'm so grateful for. They're such sweet, sweet, sweet people. I babysit their dog when they go on trips and I just love them, love, love, love them. So anyway, I'm thinking, I have that moment of doubt where I'm thinking about buying PJs and I'm thinking, what if something's really wrong with my knee and ankle and I am going to waste money on PJs where I have to pull up the bottoms? Because I wear almost nightgowns, nightgowns. I've I've worn nightgowns strictly for years, years and years and years. The last time I wore a pair of PJs, you know, top and bottom, was in maybe 2012. Uh, I finally wore them out. And I thought, oh, I need to replace these. And then I thought, no, I like wearing my nightgowns. So then I, I've just been for over 10 years. Um, okay, Frankie, you guys don't need me inside anymore. I love you, bub. But you can go be. But when we're outside, he'll leave my side. <laughs> Make sure you see something move. Little booger head. Um, oh, okay. So I had that moment of self-doubt. And I thought I would share that with you because I love watching him because I thought, you know, there are some things in all of my lifetime, in all of my years, in all of my, oh, so many experiences. I've had a very full life of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. But there's some things I've always been able to trust. And that is this feeling inside my body when I'm sure. There's a peace. Like, I'm sure. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling. It's, I'm sure. Now, there are times when I have a thought that says, this is what's going on. And it's loud. And sometimes I'm right, but sometimes I'm wrong. Because it's loud, I know a lot of that is fear and anger. And sometimes I'm right. But it's a voice I cannot trust 100%. Okay, now take a breath and tell me, do you understand what I'm talking about? I love these headbands. I love these headbands. I don't know. Tigerous round. Um, a lot of caffeine. But I think I'm also really excited about this new awareness and I've reminded about it off and on. <sighs> he 
here and there throughout my lifetime, I have been It's kind of like this little quiet knock in there. Hello, not a bang, but a hey. So I, I'm laying horizontal, thinking about these pajamas and how hard it'll be to pull them up over my decrepit legs, especially if I'm in braces for months. <laughs> and I'm thinking, it took me a minute. And I'm thinking, whoa, where did that come from? And then I realized that I have an opportunity to make a decision. Am I going to start before I die? Am I going to experience, experiment with trusting myself? With, if I'm aware of other people's personalities by the tone of their voice, how about giving myself some credit for understanding that my brain has several different voices as well. I have an unhealthy brain that sometimes communicates by fight, flight, freeze, or fawn to my logical thinking, creative brain. And the tone of voice that that, vo that that voice has is a voice that I should not give as much credit to as I do. You know what? We were talking about eyebrow colors recently. I'm not sure. Was it Dinah? Could have been Dinah. Um, yeah, I get it. My, my hair is like a... This lighting makes my hair look more blonde today, but in some pictures, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the wall, the sheet, and my and my hair. It, it looks really white with a little bit of gray streaks in it. What are you thinking? I'm almost ready. <laughs> um, but taupe, if you can get something in taupe, it's about the best match because it'll kind of blend the blonde, the gray, and the and the white. That's what that's I mean I experiment with different colors just because makeup's fun. But and I've decided that powder is really safe because when I use I'll use these sometimes but their work and sometimes it's like you can tell when someone's wearing mascara versus not wearing mascara well you can tell when someone's wearing eyebrow gel versus not and to me on everyday living I don't want my eyebrows to look like eyelashes sticking out of my forehead you being, you being, you're, you're telling me, aren't you? And so I don't need, I don't need high definition eyebrows. And even if I'm going out with friends, depending on the lighting, especially if it's natural lighting, you know, I, I, I just have to decide what mood I'm in, honestly. So, um, just gonna use a little bit of my eyeshadow palette. You know, I love these kind of eyeshadow palettes. I know that looks disgusting, sorry. Sometimes I use water for my black or my brown, depending on what's going on. But if I'm real quick and I don't wanna spend a lot of time getting different things, I just do my blush from here do my, maybe a little contouring around my forehead and jaw over here. Do my eyeliner over here. The thing is, if I use powder eyeliner, I need to just accept that it's probably not going to last all day. It just probably isn't. 
yeah. It's funny too, because I'm watching people who are on TV right now, um, especially like on the news or what have you. And you can tell who's hanging out in the sun, who's out golfing or um, barbecuing or whatever, because you can tell their nose is red and right above their foreheads are red. Because that, or depending on where your facial, like my eyebrows come out a little bit and my cheeks. And of course my pug nose. I call it a pug nose. I don't know what a pug nose even. Whoops, a little eyeshadow on there. Whatever. So anyway, people are just wearing color. Don't be afraid to wear a little color. But don't overdo it. If you're going to use it, at least blend it. That's up to you. I don't know. None of my business. I'm just going to use a gloss. Mm. And if I don't like the color, thanks for the tip. I think this came from Dinah too. Oh, that's, that's my glue stick. That's for keeping eyebrows in place. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is it. This is Palmer's. Never mix up your glue stick and your jab stick. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, I ended up buying those pajamas. Yes, I did. I ended up buying the pajamas um, through Timu because I've, I've never seen prices like that for pajamas. And the reviews were outstanding. Um... I was just so impressed. I did get some. I just got them this last week. If you want me to do a review on them, I will. But um, I'm just going to tell you, if you go to JCPenney's or Macy's, um, Belk's, Kohl's, Stores like that. I wouldn't say Neiman Marcus. Um, but you're going to find this quality of pajamas. And all of these were every one, every set that I bought. I used, I got the spaghetti set, this top and the long pants. And um, each set was under $10. Yeah, and I liked them so much, I ordered one set, and I thought, oh my gosh, I love this. I forgot how much I like sleeping in PJs, um, so I'm going to enjoy it while I'm young enough to bend over and put them on, on my foot <laughs> to get into. <laughs> uh, so... I trusted myself on not going to the doctor, saved a ton of money, and then I decided to trust myself and buy some more pajamas. Splurge on myself, why not? Why would I not splurge on myself? I've got the money, and I'm gonna tell you what, there are people who are saying, this world's going to really, if, if with all the crap that's going on right now, if we go to war, you're going to want to have as much money saved up as possible. Well, I'm going to tell you this, as old as I am, probably wouldn't last long in a fight. <laughs> probably wouldn't last long in a fight. So I'll be 62 this year. So I'm just... I'm just saying, you know what, I'm going to try to live my best life. If we do go to war, and it looks like I'm going to really suffer, I think God will forgive me for taking myself out. <laughs> or I'll be like Billy the Kid and go out with a flame of glory. Fight like I'm in my 20s. 
until they put me down. I don't know. what a, It's crazy making. So I just try to have a sense of humor about it. Uh, the reason why I'm even bringing it up is some of my clients are concerned. Um, I have vets that I work with. And I need to respect their opinion. I can't go, oh, don't be silly. Are you kidding me? They know enough about the military and enough about the government and enough about war and enough about common sense that, mm -hmm, come on, do some simple math. So I try not to get all wound up in it. You know what? I just like me better with dark eyeshadow. That's the truth. I just like me with dark eyeshadow. Problem is, my eyebrows don't always match, so I'm gonna go in and add just a wee bit more opaqueness to the powder. Just a wee bit. And all this is gonna wear off. I'm gonna be outside, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so anyway, why shouldn't I buy myself some PJs? Good grief, I deserve PJs, I work hard. And I'm sure you've worked hard. Go buy yourself something nice today. Quit depriving yourself. Unless you're truly on a budget, then don't do that. Don't go spend a bunch of money that, that you shouldn't spend. So don't. I'm just saying, if you've got some money, well, who are you saving it for? Your kids? Stop that. I have, in my years... I have only seen people inherit money and be basically just as affected as if they weren't left money and their parents lived well. That's the truth. That's the truth. I, um... I've never seen people really change their lives with an inheritance or not permanently. I've seen them temporarily change it. Um, I've seen them spend a lot of money and once again, get themselves in debt. But I haven't seen it change any relationships for the better. I haven't seen people go, oh, Thanks to mom or thanks to dad for leaving me this money. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not very many. But of course, I do work with people who are going through a lot. But I mean, even friends. Um, I just haven't seen a lot of people... There are a few, you see them on TV, you, you hear hear about it, oh, it's a, on, you know, shows, but not in real life. So I'm telling you. I'm telling you, go spend your, go spend some money on luxury. Buy yourself some new PJs. Oh, and I have been using that little vibrator on my face. I'm telling you what, why didn't I think about that sooner? I'm always massaging. Why wouldn't you use a vibrator? So I, I had that little one I showed you. So <laughs> I can't wait till the mom man sees this. Well, I decided to get one that I can actually hold with my hands a little bit better because my bursitis, is, my thumb is actually starting to pop when I pull it out in a certain way. But anyway, I ordered a bigger vibrator <laughs> than just that little tiny one. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how the rumors start. All right, I love you guys. And give yourself a hug for me. Take care of yourself. Don't, don't take life too seriously, unless you have to. And then if you have to take it seriously, take it very seriously, because you're worth it. Say what you mean. Mean what you say, and don't say it mean. All right. Love you. Oh, 
and say hi to Vanessa. Go to her site. Say hi to Vanessa. Go to Rose over 70 makeup artist. Go to Rose and say hi. Say April sent me hi. Especially Vanessa. She's starting out her channel and she's just sweet as can be. Um, and she's really opening up and sharing uh, quite a bit. So it's so sweet to see. I love that. Women helping women. And hi, Carmen, Dinah, Denise. So good to hear from you. And man, thank you for sharing. Um, when we share stories with each other, it brings out the humanness in all of us because we can all relate in one little way or another so that we don't feel so alone. That's the worst disease on the planet is to feel alone, alone. It's true. All right. All right, I'm gonna go take on the day. Bye for now.